So you just bought sign in your SSD and want to upgrade your computer without losing your Windows setup? Then don't worry, you do not need to reinstall everything from scratch or I would say nothing will go including your Windows setup, your programs, files and folder. In this video, I will show you how you can clone your Windows 11 drive step by step using one of the best and reliable software, which is Macrium Reflect. And I would say it is simple, free and safe. For that, all you need to do is you need to simply open your internet browser and then you need to type here Maricrum Reflect Free. Okay, then click here on this free 30 day trial and then click here i am a home user now you need to click on download free trial and then select 64 bit then here you're gonna see this kind of page where you need to create account i would say use your google account to quickly sign in now here i'm gonna select one of my google id that's how guys i have created account in just few click now from here you will see your download will start automatically if in case it did not then I would suggest you to click on download and then click on download trial. And then from here you can select 64 bit. And this time you will see that your download will start. Now here you can see I already have downloaded it. So simply what I'm going to do here is I am going to run this setup. So let's make a click here. And now I'm going to click on next. Let's again click on next and click on next. Now here I'm going to keep it 30 day trial and then click on next here again. I can click on next or maybe I think I need to enter my email address. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to add my Gmail address. So for that, let me go here in profile and setting and from here I can copy my email address and then I'm going to click on next. Now again, click on next and click on install. Now I'm going to click on finish and it is asking me to restart my system, which of course I will. But before I restart, let me talk about one more important step that we need to do, which is installing our new SSD. So in my case, I already installed it and which we're going to see after, you know, I will restart my system. So let me restart my system. Okay. So we have now restarted our system and now let's launch the Macrium Reflect. And there we go. Now let's click here. Okay. Okay. So here, first of all, I want to identify the drive. Okay. So here I can see the drive where I would like to install my window, which is Samsung 990 Pro 2 terabyte. And this was my existing drive, which is Crucial P5 Plus. Now, before I clone this drive, what I want is I want to format this drive because I also have tried this drive with Apple. So let me minimize this. And now I'm going to press Ctrl and X. And from here, I can go to disk management. And in disk management, I can basically, you know, delete the whole partition. Okay. So let me select the partition. And then here I can also see the capacity of it. Let's click on delete volume. And I guess if I really want to delete this particular volume as well, then I may need to use command prompt. So let me quickly do the following. Then from here, I'm going to select disk two. Then I'm going to select partition first. And then I'm going to delete this partition. And once I delete here, you can see the complete drive doesn't have any partition. Now, let me actually exit from this and I will now let Macrium handle everything. Let me close this and let me open Macrium. And I would say these steps were kind of optional. So you do not need to actually do all these things. And here also seems like I need to refresh. So let me go here and view and refresh. And now here you can see the drive is completely empty. Now let's clone the drive. So I'm going to first of all, select the hard drive, which is the following. And then I'm going to click on clone this. Now I'm going to select the target drive. Let's click here on select the disk to clone. And now I am going to select this disk three, which is Samsung SSD 990 Pro. Now, now I'm going to click on next. Now I need to click on again next. 
and then here you can click on finish now let's click ok and the cloning started now all we need to do is we need to wait for a while till the transfer get completed and this should not take too much of time because both these drives are very fast okay so finally here we can see we have successfully cloned it now i'm going to click on ok and i'm going to close it now let me remove my previous drive which is let me quickly show you by going here in disk management is this one okay so i'm going to take this out and then here you can see this is my new drive now let me remove my original or old drive which is disk 4 since we already have copied everything in disk 2 okay finally we have removed our old drive and now i am running windows 11 from my new drive where i have cloned the previous old drive now again um, let me press windows and x and now i'm gonna again go to disk management here what we need to do is we need to extend this drive so that i can fully utilize the space that i have in my new drive so let me select the c drive and make a right click and here we can see the extend volume option seems missing and the reason behind that is this 731 mb healthy recovery partition is coming in between now in order to move this partition from here to right hand side what i'm going to do is i am going to install a software known as mini tool so let me open my internet and search for mini tool wizard then here you need to click on following link and then from here select home user partition wizard free now click on download now this will download partition wizard let's click and run it now here we need to click on continue to free edition then next and then here this option is optional you can uncheck it then click on next and then install it now click on launch and there we go now what we need to do here is we need to select this drive which we want to move and want to make it right side let's make a right click and then click on move resize now simply copy this number which is unallocated space and paste it here now you can see here there is no unallocated space and we simply have moved this partition from middle to the right now make sure you have enabled this option which is using enhanced data protecting mode and now click ok now click on apply and then again click on yes and there we go it says applied all the pending changes successfully now click ok now you can close this mini tool wizard now again here in disk management let me refresh it okay once we refresh now i can see that my recovery partition now moved toward the right now let's again select the c drive make a right click and now here you can see the extend option is there let's select that click on next and now here we have got all these space that we would like to extend let's click on next and now click on finish and there we go we have got now entire space available for users now let me close this and let's have a look at windows explorer where i should be able to see my c drive is now of entire two terabyte so in this way guys we have seen how we have successfully cloned and moved our windows from my old one terabyte ssd to new two terabyte ssd without deleting any data and all these programs are also working fine that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you subscribe to technoholic to see more such content and i will see you with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye